Hi, this is a short video to show you how you can use an external file based change control system with Dolphin Smalltalk. Um, I'm going to be using uh, Microsoft Visual Source Safe, which, although it's a bit old hat, is the system we use internally. But you should be able to use any file based uh, SCCS if you desire. So, first of all, let's Take a look at a little sample application that um, I want to put under source code control. Um, it's a little um, generative music app called Plimbol, which has three packages in it. Um, basically, it just allows you to create generative music. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the package as it exists uh, into SourceSafe, uh, and the way we do that is by taking a look at the in the package browser, and you'll see that we have three packages, and let's save these to um, to disk, and normally they are saved just out as POC files where each pack file contains all of the classes uh, in, that, in that particular package. Um, in order to make it easier to use um, in a, um, a file-based CCS, um, we're going to use a different format where each class is saved out as a separate file. And to do that, what you need to do is to right-click on each package and choose Use Packs Source Format. Give me a confirmation prompt, and we do that for each of the packages. And now, if we take a look in our directory, we see we have a lot more files, uh, including one CLS file for each class uh, and a, a much smaller PAX file, which just contains things like global definitions uh, for the packages and the views. So, um, let's now go and add these into uh, our file-based um, change control system in this case Microsoft source safe so I'll open that and I'm going to create a project and I'm now going to ask it to add in the appropriate files. We don't need to add in the PAC files, just the PAX files and the CLS files, so I'll select each of those individually. Okay, and I'm going to add them into source say. Now, now that the project is under source code control, uh, we have to um, broach a subject where Visual Source Safe isn't particularly ideal because when you get a particular project, it doesn't remember what version of the project you, you've actually retrieved. Um, in order to do a proper three-way merge, um, if say several people are working on the same files, um, it's necessary to know what the root of the um, of the merge is. Now, in order to do that, this in Source Safe, what we do is we label the um, the checked-in project, or sorry, we we label a project with the version with the machine name um, that has actually got a particular file um, it's a bit of a, a nasty hack but it seems to work um, you may find that with uh, uh, more sensible um, change control systems you won't need to do this so let me show how that works so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these um, these packages from my dolphin image uh, let's remove this and um, Let's uninstall these packages. Okay, so now we can pretend we're actually a fresh image and we're going to start work uh, on that particular package. So, what we would do, we would go to Source Safe and we would choose the Plimbol package and we would say get latest version. Uh, if there were subdirectories, we choose recursive and we would um, extract those files. So, now we've got the latest version of the files out of the um, the repository uh, but what we need to do is we need to mark that version as the the version that we've got and the way we do that is by um, labeling it with our machine name which in this case is Aragon 7 
and you'll see why this is useful uh, in a minute. So I now go to back to my Dolphin image and I can load in those packages. So uh, let's uh, load in, sorry, excuse me, let's um, install from the PAX file, not the PAC files, we'll we install uh, the Plimbol package. And that will have loaded in all the PAX files and all the CLS files that we actually extracted from uh, SourceSafe. Let's go and make a change to the application. Um, if you remember, originally the, uh, uh, the window was blue. So let's change that to something else. So let's select the Plimbol class and open the view and edit the background color and make it green. Save that out. Um, let's also make another quick change to um, the uh, the application. Um, let's have a look. Let's change this method scale to use a different scale. Okay. Now we've made two changes to the application, and when we run it, we'll see we have a green window. And we've changed the scale, so it should be playing slightly different music. Let's check that back into um, into SourceSafe, and the way we do that is we use um, one of the additional tools in the Dolphin Additional Tools folder, uh, and it is called the Source Browser. Uh, and the source browser comes up by default and shows you all the sources that have been changed in your image. Now, in my particular case, I've got some other packages I've been working on, but um, if we sort by package name, you'll see that in um, the Plimbol package, we actually have um, a package that's been changed and a class that's been changed. Um, they're currently not writable because they haven't been checked out of source safe. Um, and so what we need to do is we need to go to uh, Visual Source Safe and we need to specify that we want those files to be checked out. So we want the Plimbol PAX file and the Plimbol class file to be checked out. So that's these two files here. Uh, check these out. Okay, and now when we go back into the source browser, you'll see that these files are indeed writable. So we can um, file these out by pressing Save Selected Sources. Okay, we get we now see that they they actually they've gone written out, um, and now we can go back into um, Source Safe and see um, see these files, and we can check them back in again. So what we need to do is we just we can we can if we want to we can go and see what the differences are, and you see there's one of the differences, um, and indeed the other one will be in the file somewhere as well. This is the change to the view that we made. Okay, so we can check these two files in uh, with an appropriate comment. Okay, um, and that's basically all we need to do to uh, to put that that file back in. The important thing is that when you come to do the um, check in, uh, you may have to merge against a particular checked out version which you now know because you you uh, versioned it as um, with your machine then as I say most uh, modern based modern uh, change control systems should actually be aware of the version that you've checked out and should make the merging in fairly straightforward anyway I hope that explains basically how um, external change control systems can be used with Dolphin uh, if for whatever reason you don't uh, want to use the built-in source tracking system.